Namaste. Today, I am going to be talking about the significance of eye examination in a patient with diabetes. A thorough yearly examination of eyes can detect any changes of diabetic retinopathy and other complications early, thereby decreasing the progression of the disease and blindness can be avoided. Unfortunately, diabetic eye diseases constitute a major portion of preventable blindness and we must work towards preventing these issues. Now, when we talk about eyes per se, for simple understanding, let us think of a, the old time SLR cameras. So, you have these cameras where you have the lens and then there is a film. So, if you compare the camera with your eyes, your lens of the camera is just like the anterior portion of the eyes which are the eye lens. And diseases like cataract could occur on those areas. And the posterior aspect or the back side of the eye is the retina which is like the film of your camera. So, that is where it captures all the pictures and it processes to form an image. So that portion is also extremely important. If the film is damaged, the picture doesn't come well. And even if the lens is damaged, the picture doesn't come very well. But as you know that the lens could be replaced. So same way, whenever there is uh, any diseases with our eye lens, uh, like cataracts, uh, it can be replaced with a cataract extraction and intraocular lens implantation. So that is uh, a part of normal aging process and it is exaggerated or the speed of the uh, cataract formation is increased in cases of diabetes. Now talking about the pressure inside the lens, diseases like glaucoma where the intraocular pressures are high are more common with diabetes and uh, more importantly the diseases of the retina are extremely common. This retina is a very sensitive part and it is filled with a lot of blood vessels, arteries, veins and so on. In diabetes if at all the sugar levels are extremely high I told you that it acts as a toxin. It is called glucose toxicity. The excessive sugar that is traveling through these uh, blood vessels will damage them. And once they are damaged, they will start leaking. They will, uh, once they start leaking, initially it would be small blotches of blood. At times it will be uh, heavy bleeding. And at times even the entire retina could just detach leading to blindness. So these are things that are preventable if you keep your sugars in check. Now another very common thing that occurs in diabetics if the sugars are not very well controlled is a lot of refractive errors because your numbers keep changing when you at times we diagnose people with diabetes who come with such a complaint. Their numbers keep changing every one month or so. They have to change their spectacles. When they check their sugars, it is found to be high. Things like eye infections or styes are also very common in people with diabetics. So when you go to your ophthalmologist and tell that I have diabetes and I need to get my eye tested, initially they would check your pressure that is the intraocular pressure to rule out any glaucoma. They would check your lens to see if there are any cataracts. Then they would dilate your pupils with some drops to do a fundoscopy. This fundoscopy, when they do, they can see the uh, retinal images, the arteries, blood vessels and all those things. And you can even click a picture of it so that we can compare it later on. Uh, six months down the lane, how the disease have progressed for comparison, even those retinal images are captured. And when should you do these things? In a type 2 diabetic person, it has to be done every year. And in type 1, which happens in children, we recommend that the first retinal examination has to be done within 5 years and followed by every year it needs to be repeated so that any small change could be picked up early. And the beauty of this is 
if at all your sugars are very well controlled early changes are completely reversible so it uh, keeping your hba1c and sugars in check uh, helps you to control the uh, eye diseases thereby preventing the progression and preventing uh, major illnesses and blindness later on so i would like to conclude with my mantra keep your sugars in check uh, with regular diet exercise and medications and keep all the complications at bay take care bye